What's up guys, Tanik here, and June has finally begun. So you know what that means, E3 is right around the corner. Sorry for my bad recording. Um, my screen recorder on my iPhone stopped working called Shohu. And if you guys have any screen recorder suggestions for iPhone, please let me know in the comments below because I'm really trying to find one. So all you're going to see is this thing on the top, even though I made a whole PowerPoint on my iPhone. But anyway, um, just a disclaimer, I'm not going to be announced, I'm not going to be having, um, like, explaining the NX or the Nintendo mobile games or Legend of Zelda Wii U, because if you guys didn't know, they will not be showing that at A3. So I am going to be splitting this video into two parts. The first part, I'll be announcing returning games, n games that we already know of that will probably return and we'll see more detail about. The other half of this video will be of uh, new games that are older franchises with newer games in into it, either on the Wii U or the 3DS. So let's get right into it. The first game that I think that is going to be shown at E3 is Star Fox Wii U. So we did see very very little of Star Fox Wii U last year at E3 just we saw Miyamoto playing it and we only have like a few screenshots and I think this is gonna be the highlight of E3 this year we're gonna have a bunch of new gameplay um, more like more maybe we get some story characters returning or new characters maybe we get some amiibo support if there is any maybe we get um, multiplayer stuff for the game. We have no idea about this game, so anything really is probably going to be shown at E3. The next thing that I think is going to be shown is Yoshi's Woolly World, but after seeing the micro direct that happened yesterday, I don't know, because they did show a little bit about it. There's amiibo support, more of it to change your Yoshi's customization, but um, we really do not have that much, actually. We only seen one boss, which was that fire mole thing. But other than that, we have no idea of bosses. We don't really have a, um, real look at the 3D overworld. And I think we should get more information, because this game is coming out on June 20th. So maybe we'll get a little bit more information, or something like that. The next game that I think they're going to show off is Fire Emblem If, which just got announced the real name um, at the Micro Direct. If you didn't see it, go to Nintendo's page. But yeah, it's called Fire Emblem If, and I think they're going to show a bunch of new features, maybe DLC, um, a release date, um, anything else new, maybe multiplayer. That would be awesome, Fire Emblem multiplayer, like fighting against other people. I think they did do that in the 3DS version, but you would have to get Street Pass and battle their guys. Not really 1v1, it's just a CPU, but that would be cool to see online multiplayer. The next thing that I think is going to be shown is also Fire Emblem Remaining, which is Shin Metikansu Tensei Cross Fire Emblem. I'm not really a big fan. I actually have no idea what Shin Metikansu is. I don't even know what it is. Um, cross fire ammo, but I'd like to see more of it. Maybe I'll get um, into it and actually like it. Like, show us more about the game, release dates, like I said. Um, maybe they cross paths and like how they cross universe, like the two um, franchises crossing universes, and maybe get more of the story and other things like that. Because the last time we saw it was back in April 1st Direct, where all it showed was like a bunch of gameplay and like some Japanese song but the next thing that I think is gonna be shown at E3 is a DLC pack 3 for Mario Kart 8 now Mario Kart has made a uh, pack 1 and pack 2 already and it's already been a year old already so I actually think they'll make a pack 3 seeing how much they sold a pack 1 and pack 2 Almost everyone who has Mario Kart 8 bought the DLC packs, and it was very, very popular. And the tracks were freaking awesome. But, like, I think they'll maybe tune it down a little bit. 
Like when you build a house smash packs, like maybe you get like uh, a Kid Icarus pack where you have Pit, Palutena, Dark Pit as characters, and then you have like the um, the legendary three weapons as um, one of the as one of the carts, and one of the stages would probably be like Skyloft or maybe um, Veridi's, uh Garden or something like that. I don't know. Or like maybe they'll do a one based on Shulk and it'd be Xenoblade Chronicles and you have Shulk as your main character. Maybe you have like a Monado bike or something and you have Gore Plains and maybe there'll be a whole pack of um, uh, Smash Bros characters coming into Mario Kart. Talking about Smash Bros, I think that they'll announce more DLC for Smash Bros. They did announce um, on April 1st that there was a sm Smash ballot. Maybe they'll show us the polls already. Like, maybe they'll show us who's winning, who's losing. Um, and maybe they'll show us a brand new character. My predictions are probably either Roy, Ryu, or Wolf. One of those three definitely are probably going to get announced. Because if you guys didn't know, Roy and Ryu were... Um, were leaked like they found files of him of them but wolf is f sounds like a great p player to be in smash coming back because it's the only other one in brawl than snake but they can't bring back snake because miyamoto doesn't I mean, sakurai doesn't want weapons like explosives but yeah maybe they'll announce the new updates too like maybe they'll have that boss tower thing that got leaked or some or like maybe break the targets comes back or something like that that'd be cool the next game that i think they'll announce is a little bit more of xenoblade chronicles x we really didn't get much um more, mostly japanese people got uh a look more at xenoblade chronicles x but really we didn't get that much of a look at it you know, maybe we get more of a look and some bosses, more gameplay, um, and I don't think there's a release date, but I'm not sure. I'm not really into Xenoblade Chronicles X, but I think they're going to show more. Then the other thing I think they're going to show off is more 3DS games, because as you see, like, the last 3DS game that was, like, popular that came out was, like, Codename Steen, and then before that was like Pokemon Mega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, and then before that was Super Smash Bros. And most games are coming out on the Wii U now, so I think maybe they'll make exclusive games to the new 3DS because it just came out like uh, a couple months ago. And I think that maybe if they make those, people will buy the new 3DS more. Like maybe they'll make a uh, Pikmin 4 or something. But now I'm going to be switching it off to the other half of the video of my new game's prediction. So, let's start off with Rhythm Heaven. So, Rhythm Heaven is a great game. I played both the DS version and the Wii version. I haven't played the Japanese version, but it's only Japanese exclusive. But they should make one on the 3DS or Wii U. Both are great. The gamepad could be very useful in um, tapping the rhythm or something and be used in kooky ways like Rhythm Heaven is. But they did announce actually in a Japanese um, like a Japanese trailer of the best of Rhythm Heaven Plus which showed off um, all three games the best of them plus more of new games. There's like a, um, 70 new games and like 110 best games. And there's like remixes and all these kooky things that Rhythm Heaven does, like I said. And maybe they'll announce that. Who knows? But next thing that I know, definitely I want this and I know this is probably going to get announced. A new Metroid game. I mean, seriously. They haven't announced a new Metroid game since... 2010 when Metroid Other M came out and that game wasn't that the best but it was pretty good actually in my opinion and 
I mean, Team Ninja did ruin them a little bit, but Retro Studios did say that they're working on a very important project, and I think that is Metroid. And if I had to guess, it's probably going to be there. Metroid Prime 4, Metroid Dread for the 3DS, um, a brand new Metroid game, or a better Metroid Other M 2, or a totally new, different Metroid franchise, or maybe even a remake. Maybe we'll get a remake of Metroid 2, The Return of Samus, or maybe we'll get a remake of Super Metroid. Who knows? And then the next thing that I probably, I really want Mother 4. I love the Earthbound series. Ness is my favorite character. I love him so much. Um, I'm pretty sad that they didn't make a uh, English version for the Mother 3. But Lucas is also very good. And I would love to see them team up together in Mother 4. It makes sense. But they did tease about it in last year's Direct. I mean, not Direct. Um, E3. Where there was this guy who wanted Mother 3 in the audience. Um, in the cartoon that they made with Robot Chicken kind of thing. Where he's like, come on Reggie, make us a Mother 3. So I don't know if that's teasing us, saying that they're going to make a Mother 3. Or that they're not going to make a Mother 3. Because after he says that, Reggie throws a fireball at him. So I don't know if that's saying that we're not making a Mother 3 or we're making a Mother 4. Or we are making a Mother 3. So shut up. But either way, I'm fine with both of them. But I do want a Mother 4. The next game that I think is going to come out is a new Punch-Out game. Now, Punch-Out is a very good series. I love it a lot. I did play the Wii version on this channel. Very great game. And it hasn't come out since 2008, I think. And they did, I think, tease us about it, like, slightly, when they showed off what they were doing for E3 um, before showing the um, Nintendo World Championships, where Reggie's in, like, uh... Um, pink sweatshirt like Little Mac. So that could be teasing us either saying that Punch-Out's going to be in the Nintendo World Championships or that they're going to make a new Punch-Out game and announce it at 3 The next game that I really want and a lot of people do want it too is a new F-Zero game for the Wii U. I mean F-Zero is a beautiful franchise so fast it's like faster than 200cc in Mario Kart 8. I don't know if the DLC packs are teasing us that they are going to make a F new F-Zero game or that this is the new F-Zero Mario Kart. -y. So either way, I, I do want a new F-Zero game, but if they don't, hopefully they make new DLC packs with um, more F-Zero stages on Mario Kart 8. Either way, pretty much fine, but I do want a new F-Zero game because they haven't made one for the Wii. The last one they made was back in the GameCube, and that one was fantastic, actually. And I want to make want them to make a new one. The next game that I think they're gonna make is a new Paper Mario game. Probably gonna be on the Wii U, maybe on the 3DS. There was a leak saying that they was gonna make a Thousand Year Door remake on the 3DS, but I do want one on the Wii U because they already did make one on the 3DS, but it kind of sucked. But Thousand Year Door was a great game, and I do want a remake of that. But the Wii U, it hasn't had a Paper Mario game. And having the ability of the gamepad, could probably, like, draw your Paper Mario, like, customize it. Have some really awesome stuff with the gamepad and the 3DS. I not, not 3DS, and the TV. Both compatible with each other. And just having a fun time, because Paper Mario is so fun. Um, up next, I think they're going to announce a Pikmin 4. Like, um, Miyamoto is just obsessed with Pikmin. They made Pikmin short films. He really loves them, and I think they're going to make a Pikmin 4. Probably on the new 3DS. Maybe on the both the 3DS and the new 3DS. But, yeah. I mean, Pikmin's a great series. And being on a handheld would be revolutionary having the ability to I mean it's a basically the same thing as the Wii U version cuz the controls are the same you have the touchpad you can see on the top screen and it makes kind of sense and the next game that I want is Animal Crossing for the Wii U last Animal Crossing game Animal Crossing New Leaf was amazing I love that game so much I'm still playing it now cuz I can't let go of it 
But yeah, it's a great game, Animal Crossing New Leaf. And having it on the Wii U probably look even more fantastic. And like maybe they'll add new things like backpacks or purses or something like that to more storage. Maybe they'll have amiibo. Um, to unlock like Tortimer Island, you need to have the Captain amiibo or something like that. Maybe you get the Gulliver amiibo and Gulliver appears up on your shore. That would be really awesome. Or KK Slider. Just scan them in, get a song. Be amazing. Next game that I think they're going to announce is Pokemon Z or Pokemon X2 and Y2. Now, Pokemon, the last game they made was back um, in Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. And back then, they always made a Pokemon game every year. So. This year, I think they're either going to make a Pokemon Z, which kind of makes sense, kind of like Pearl and Diamond had a Platinum, and um, Alpha Sa I mean, Sapphire and em um, Ruby had an Emerald. So maybe they'll make a Pokemon Z, or maybe they'll make a Delta Emerald, because Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire got a remake. I mean, Sapphire and Oh my god, I can't talk. Ruby and Sapphire got a roommate remake, so why not Emerald too? The next game that I think they're going to announce is Super Mario Galaxy 3. Either on the Wii U or 3DS or both. Be great. I love Super Mario Galaxy. And they should definitely make a new one. Last one they made was back in 2010. Just like Metroid Other M. And I think they deserve to make a third one. I, th I think I heard Miyamoto was making this um, third Super Mario Galaxy. Or was planning on to. And maybe they'll announce it this year. You know, who knows? Then some of the games that I want that I don't think will get in, but will that I want to get in, are is a new WarioWare game because uh, Game of Wario was really bad and I didn't like it. But like uh, WarioWare Smooth Moves 2 maybe, or I don't know, some really good WarioWare game because Wario, Game of Wario wasn't really a WarioWare game. It kind of sucked. Then the second game that I want, um, but I don't think it's going to come in, is Kirby's Return to Dream Land 2. Kirby's Return to Dream Land 2, I, the original one, the first one, was back in like 2010 or 11. The Wii, great game. I love that game so much. My favorite Kirby game by far. I love it so much, and I think it deserves a sequel. But sadly, they ma did make a Kirby game back in February, which was Kirby's and the Rainbow Curse. But it wasn't that good, actually. <laughs> but I think they should make a real 2D Kirby game that you can suck enemies and get their abilities. Not like that some shit that Rainbow Curse made. <laughs> and lastly, Nintendo has made a lot of has been stepping up their game every year. They made partnerships with DNA to make mobile games, and are making a partnership with Universal Studios to make a Nintendo theme park. The next thing that I think and I want them to do is make um, Nintendo toys, specifically Lego Nintendo. Cause think about it, I love I love Nintendo. You guys probably too. And combining with Legos, it would be so awesome. People would buy them. Like you get. It's kind of like those Connects Mario Kart, except Connects suck, but <laughs> Lego, um, Lego Mario, and you can like make your carts, make like giant versions of Mario and Luigi. I mean, I don't know. Maybe you guys don't like Legos, but I love Legos, and having the ability to like just make your favorite characters like Ness as a minifigure, like maybe it would turn to like a mini series like the minifigure series like there was a Simpsons minifigure series maybe they'll make a Nintendo minifigure series of like Ness Mario Luigi Bowser just be so amazing I would love and buy all of the Lego um Nintendo Legos it's just like Amiibo like maybe you'll unlock special things like there's a code on um, when you build it up and it's on the back Maybe they'll have that, and they'll, people will go crazy for them, just like Amiibo. But anyway, that are my predictions for E3 2015. Thank you all for watching. Stay tuned right here on the Tonic 
for more things gaming and more things Nintendo. Bye.